The search for missing people in southern Beirut following an Israeli strike that killed a top Hezbollah military official continued for a third day on Sunday. The health ministry reported that the death toll has risen to 45, with some remains sent for testing to identify additional victims. Ali Muhammad, a local official and engineer, said 15 bodies remain to be recovered. Meanwhile, the local municipality brought in a crane as they try to retrieve people's belongings from the damaged buildings. Lebanon's Hezbollah launched over 100 rockets early Sunday across a wider and deeper area of northern Israel, with some landing near the city of Haifa, as the sides appeared to be spiraling toward all-out war following months of escalating tensions. The rocket barrage overnight sent thousands of people scrambling into shelters. A Russian missile barrage on the Ukrainian city of Kharkiv late on Saturday has left 18 people injured, including four children, according to regional authorities. There were several strikes on the city of Kharkiv with guided bombs. One hit in front of a residential high-rise building. Currently, about 60 people have been evacuated from the area, Kharkiv Governor Ola Sinihubov said from the scene of the strike. Two people remain in critical condition, the regional military administration said in a statement. The strikes were carried out using Russian military aircraft delivering FAB-250 guided missiles that struck northern districts of the city proper as well as several locations in the surrounding suburbs. Two standalone houses outside the city limits caught fire but resulted in no injuries, the administration said. Scores of vehicles and other structures were damaged in the aftermath of the strikes as well, authorities added. An Israeli airstrike in Beirut killed at least 14 people and wounded dozens more, Lebanese health officials said. It was the first such Israeli attack on Lebanon's capital in months and came shortly after Hezbollah pounded northern Israel with 140 rockets. Israel launched a rare airstrike that killed a senior Hezbollah military official in a densely populated southern Beirut neighborhood on Friday. It was the deadliest such strike on Lebanon's capital in decades, with Lebanese authorities reporting at least 14 people killed and dozens more wounded in the attack. The Israeli military's chief spokesman, Rear Admiral Daniel Hagari, said the strike on Beirut's southern Deia district killed Ibrahim Akil, a commander of Hezbollah's elite Radwan force, as well as 10 other Hezbollah operatives. The strike came after Hezbollah launched one of its most intense bombardments of northern Israel in nearly a year of fighting, largely targeting Israeli military sites. Hezbollah described its latest wave of rocket salvos as a response to past Israeli strikes on southern Lebanon, not as revenge for the mass explosions of Hezbollah pagers and walkie-talkies on Tuesday and Wednesday that killed at least 37 people, including two children, and wounded 2,900 others in attacks widely attributed to Israel. Israel and Hezbollah have traded fire regularly since Hamas' October 7 assault on southern Israel ignited the Israeli military's devastating offensive in Gaza. But previous cross-border attacks have largely struck areas in northern Israel that had been evacuated and less populated parts of southern Lebanon.